Hello, good day from Sudhanshu. In this video, I will showcase that how you can register for the Google CAPTCHA and implement it on your ASP.NET 4.8 framework C Sharp website. So first of all, you will have to go into search bar and search for Google CAPTCHA and version 2. I do not know how to implement it for version 3. So we will do the implementation using version 2. Once you go there, you will have to create an account on the reCAPTCHA portal and log in there. So let me showcase how you can do that. Okay, search out for the correct link that is Google reCAPTCHA. Instead of going into the enterprise edition, you can simply go into the admin console. You can log in with your personal Gmail account onto this. Once you've logged in, click on the plus account once you've clicked on the plus account give a label to your website let's say endeavor consultancy services remove the extra spaces and here you can mention test select version 2 and i am not a robot checkbox let me showcase how it will actually present on the website i have done it for endeavor.in once you scroll down on this page, you will find the implementation of this. While it loads, let me come back to this page. Okay, here enter the domain nandevarth.in. Here will be the domain name that would be of your organization. Also remember to mention localhost because you will be testing on your local machine. So localhost is important. Once you do that, click on submit. Remember to select version 2. Here you get the keys. Now I will showcase how you implement these keys within the code. And let me also showcase the website where it is implemented to be used. Just a moment. Contact us dot html. Here you will find the actual implementation done by me yeah this is how it works so if we click on this it says captcha validation is required once we fill up the form test test validate the recapture click on submit and it shows success we will respond soon right so this is how the form will work in the actual environment so you need to pick up this list of keys and implement it on the code the code to implement will be available through description on this video first of all go on to the open website you would probably be creating your own website in asp.net i will just be showing you the sample it will be the working sample on my local machine I'm mentioning this HTML code as well as CS code, code behind file in the description. In the code behind file, you need to enter these four libraries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, seven of these libraries need to be implemented. So you can copy and paste it over the interface of yours in Visual Studio. This readily code is available on your side. Okay. You will just need to change the email addresses to your email addresses. Okay. This is how I am making it function on my computer. The email client is being made to hidden. Right. Because we are not going to send the email at this point in time. So these are the names of the controls. And this is the HTML page html page has important element that is it has recapture elements these are the ones i am mentioning this complete file in the description for you to download these are the two and three two three scripts that you need to incorporate within your page this is also mentioned as it is in the description Just to give you a better view, I am going to minimize the screen size. Okay. 
okay so let me copy paste the entire body section within the form okay control copy and let me paste it on the youtube video you just need to change these keys you need to copy this key of your website and paste it on this section of the website that is site key that is one change and the other change would be to implement both the keys on your ASP dot page that is here you will mention the secret key once you've done that you can use this code effectively remember to make your method web method I'm mentioning this method as it is so that you can copy paste it within your web page onto the description so you can easily implement it once you implement it you will be able to see the code functioning smoothly as shown over here this is the page this is it this is it I try to submit without the captcha and then I implement the captcha and then I submit it right this is functionally working I am mentioning the code in the description again to give you the easy access once you do that you will be able to have the contact us form with the captcha to prevent spamming of your form that should be all have a good day bye bye